So, good afternoon, good evening, hello, good morning. I built myself a 3D printed Telecaster. This thing's pretty cool. And if you look through and check it out, basically, I built a Harlequin, or whatever you want to call it, multicolored, 3D printed telly. And it's freaking cool. But I'm going to tell you there are some faults with this thing that I'm still working on. Number one, it's light. Under six pounds complete. It is 5.9 pounds with neck, strings, everything. So if you got a bad back and even a telly's heavy for you, here you go. Two, it's incredibly resonant. Listen. So when you play it, it sounds fantastic. The biggest flaw that isn't told to anybody who builds one of these things is body flex. So I'm working on that. Currently, this one is built with a 30% infill, which means 30% is 3D string, whatever you want to call it, and 70% of it is air. The problem is the body flex two reasons. The infill percentage and the thickness of the filament. That's the word I was looking for. Filament. And two, the, the kit that I got, and we're going to re-engineer this, but the one that I downloaded had a seam right at the bridge. You can see the two different colors, and that's where the seam is. And the problem is, and you'll be able to hear this right away, Body flex. So, things I'm going to try. We're going to do a zero infill. So, it'll be 100% filament. We have some heavy duty filament. We're going to try that. Next, I'm going to drop the string gauge. So, these are currently 10s because that's what I normally run on my Telecasters. But, we're going to try some 8s or 9s. See if that takes care of some of the flex. It stays in tune. And if you're a bender, holy cow, this thing's a bender sort of guitar. But even if you're just strumming, it goes a little bit out of tune. The construction, six pieces. Each of these pieces took in between 10 and 20 hours to make. It is glued together with Gorilla Glue, super glue. I went in and cleaned up all of the plastic edges, the drips, the whatever you want to call it, the edging. Parts on it are high quality. I have Odessa pickups in here. I've got Fender Bridge. I've got a, oh, I can't remember the electronics, but they're all pushback style wiring. The neck is an all parts uh, vintage radius with um, rosewood, Fender vintage style tuners, bone nut. It plays, it sounds, and when you plug it in, little out of tune, but it resonates really great. It makes some great sound. Um, I'm not going to plug it in right now because it's a little out of tune and I don't want to take the time. I highly recommend if you got yourself a 3D printed guitar or a 3D printer, give this a try. If you got a bad back, give it a try because like I said, it is stupid light and pretty cool. So what we're going to do is disassemble this. We're going to put it together with a different filament that is heavy duty with less infill. That's going to increase the weight, but hopefully it'll increase the rigidity. What I plan on doing is just building the two center pieces and gluing them together and assembling the bridge and neck and tuning it up and see how much flex there is. I know you guys have seen 3D printed guitars on the internet and how to glue them together and everything like that, but I will tell you, there are some flaws. Um, if you don't have the right infill, if you don't have the right um, thickness, heavy duty, whatever you want to call it, you can get yourself a lot of flex. And like I said, if you play, it sounds fine, but if you put any, 
flex on the body. She goes out. So this is just a baseline little video. There are going to be updates with the different uh, pieces with a uh, higher infill and such. Most likely you won't see it in this incarnation again. I absolutely love the look. It looks like the Partridge family. So I called it, I called it the Partridge caster. Now, again, if you want light, here you go. If you don't mind sitting in one place and not twisting the neck, this is perfect for you. We'll see how the next one turns out. Just wanted to show you kind of a little update on what I've been doing. So there you go, guys.